are of the first dimension. A brilliant runner with moves so elusive they simply call him sweetness. The Chicago Bears number 34, Mr. Walter Payton. The running game. As the late Vince Lombardi would attest, it is pro football's purest form of movement and energy. The necessary skills of strength, speed, and endurance demand that a great runner also be a great athlete. No man more gracefully fits that description than number 34 of the Chicago Bears, Walter Payton. And in 1984, after becoming the NFL's all-time leader in total yardage, he set out to break the often-termed untouchable rushing record of Jim Brown. Walter Payton program, break the record. Walter Payton, soon to be souvenir book. See Walter Payton break the record. This has got to be one of the greatest days, not only for him, but for the fans who've sat out through 10 years or whatever of it. Oh, I'm just rain and snow. snow and sleet and hail. <laughs> but it's been, Walter has been the man who's made it for us these past years. This is my first football game ever in life that I've seen outside of television. And it's the history of it that really brought me down here. The eyes of his ever faithful following were upon him, and on this date with destiny, Walter Payton did not disappoint. formation, quick pitch to Walter, looking for the record, cuts back, he's got it, he's out of it at 25 to the 26 yard line, Walter Payton becomes the National Football League all time, leading rushers surpassing Jim Brown, and that's the equivalent to Hank Aaron breaking Babe Ruth's all time home run record, and listen to the standing ovation. The motivating drive for me has been for the athletes that have tried but yet and still have failed to reach that certain achievement. And also the athletes that, uh, that didn't get an opportunity to, like the Overstreets and the Delaney's and the Brian Piccolo's. You know, this simplifies what the game is made of. And what I did out there today is a reflection of those guys because they made the sacrifices as well. And it's a tribute to me to bestow this honor upon them. Thank you. It was fitting that on the day he surpassed the legendary Jim Brown, the man they call Sweetness humbly paid tribute to the man who had paid their own share of dues. Although he was the Bears' first-round draft pick in 1975, this 5'11 inch graduate of Jackson State made an unheralded entry into pro football. In his first year, Peyton spent much of his time refining his skills behind the line of scrimmage. But by 1977, he had replaced the word potential with that of performance, capping off a stellar season by being cited the league's MVP. On the surface, he did not seem as swift as O.J. Simpson or as tough as Jim Brown. But after he easily ran through defenses specifically designed to stop him, many NFL head coaches drew their own conclusions. Walter has two qualities that you don't really have in one running back normally. He has great speed, but not only is that, he has great strength for his size. Not only do you have to plug the hole up, but you got to plug the hole up twice, you know, because he's going to run through you, he's going to run through your tacklers. So when you combine that kind of strength with good balance and great running ability, then you've got to have a premier running back. He's got a great heart, and by that I mean, uh, I've never seen him where I thought he was intimidated. You know, in a running back, you're gonna get some great shots on you. I don't care if you're carrying that ball enough, you're gonna get hit. Yeah, Walter Payton, I've never seen him get hit when he didn't get up off the ground mad, you know, that he didn't get hit and wanting a chance to dish it out. Joe J. 
jam you in the face with a stiff arm. Uh, he'll do anything that he can do to uh, keep you from tackling him. And I think that's an excellent trait in a running back. The ability to ward off defenders is just one of his many traits. Unlike numerous gifted runners who excel only when handed the ball, Peyton is a diverse offensive machine, as dangerous as a receiver as he is a runner. In addition to catching and running, Peyton also presents a threat as a passer, a not-so-subtle skill that enhances his team's ability to stretch an unsuspecting defense. You know, Walter can throw the football probably as far as anybody on the football team. We use him because he's such a threat. When he gets the football in his hands, people have to come to him. And if they, if they force quick, they usually leave something behind them open. It is safe to say that Walter Payton capably fills out the portrait of the perfectly well-rounded player. But if there's one particular talent that stands out, it just may be the sixth sense he has for getting the football into the end zone. back it constitutes certain things that you have to do that everybody has to do you know certain uh, the uh, phonetics of the game the footsteps the cross over the rows the approach block you know all those things are basic but it, uh, it when you get to it the individuality of the game is what you have inside of you the determination and what you want to accomplish that's what separates the people it's the determination and not willing to uh, settle for second best like somebody once said that when when the good lord was going to make a halfback he just chiseled a certain type of body and he gave it to walter payton and i mean no offense to any of the great players who have ever played the game but i think he's the most complete football player that i've ever seen and maybe that's ever played the game of football walter payton the personification of movement and energy Pro football's all-time leading rusher and perhaps the game's greatest all-around athlete. A man a step ahead of all the rest, truly a superstar for today. Coming up next, a look at a legend, historic 